In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you different ways to pull off an RGB split or chromatic aberration effect inside Premiere Pro. Each effect will have its own pros and cons and the method at the very end will give you the most creative control. The easiest and fastest way to split the RGB of a clip is using glitch. Now it's not gonna give you the most control, but let me show you this first. Drag that onto my clip, go to distortion and take distortion right all the way down to zero. And immediately you can see how we're getting this RGB split on the image. Now you can go all the way up to 100 on color distortion and you can also take color evolution and move this around as you see fit. This is the extent of how much you can manipulate the RGB split. So another way that I might go about doing this is with using an effect called chromatic aberration. Drag that onto this clip. This one's a little bit different in that it's geared towards VR and it only does the chromatic aberration around the point of interest. So right now you can see it's bending the colors around the edges of my clip, which is something that I don't want in this particular instance. So I'm going to go to auto VR properties, uncheck that, and then I'm going to take my vertical field of view and just manipulate that so it's not bending around the edges like I want. So you can see what's happening. I'm gonna take the point of interest and move it around the frame and notice how much the colors bend around wherever I move this anchor point. If I go over here to the aberration, we can make them adjust as need be. But for this effect, what I'm gonna do is take my blue all the way to zero, my green all the way to zero, and I'm gonna take the fall off distance to zero as well. And I'm gonna move this point to about the center of the subject. Maybe you just want a little bit of color aberration around the subject. So I still have that red around the edges. Another cool effect that you could maybe do for something like a music video during a bass hit, go boof, 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 or just some really quick effect to the music so it kind of catches the viewer off guard, or you could just make it look bizarre like wee -woo, wee -woo, wee -woo, wee -woo. <laughs> There's a lot of potential here, especially for things like titles, if you have something like the TikTok logo. So right here, I've typed out the word TikTok and added the chromatic aberration effect to it. If I click on chromatic aberration, take the point of interest and move it around, you can see that we've remade the TikTok animation that happens in the social app. Now, a third effect you may be looking for is something to help you reach that vintage old school film or VHS look, and that is channel blur. So if I look that up in the effects panel, it is underneath obsolete. So this isn't going to process in your computer as fast as other effects, and it may not be in Premiere Pro in the future, but let me just show it to you for right now. So I'm gonna take channel blur and like before, I'm only gonna do the red and notice what it does to the edges right here. It's just blurring the red channel to give that kind of I don't know, color fringing that you may see in something like an old school film or VHS tape. By itself, it's not too much, but if I bring in some color adjustments already, it's starting to look a little bit more like an old film. And then if I bring in film grain, again, looks more like an old film. And then to top it off, I'll bring in an overlay. And if I play this all the way through, I think using something like channel blur helps sell that old vintage effect. If you want a full on control of what you're manipulating with your RGB split, let me show you this last technique and I'm gonna probably spend the most time with this because you can do the most with it. The first thing I wanna do is separate my red, green, and blue channels. So I'm gonna take this bottom clip and hold Option on Mac or Alt on Windows, click and drag up and duplicate this twice. Now, for the sake of this tutorial and so people don't get confused, I'm gonna color code these. The top being red, the middle being green, and the bottom being blue to represent RGB. Now, to separate these channels, I'm gonna go back to my effects panel and look up Lumetri Color. I'll highlight all of my clips and double click Lumetri Color, and that will put a instance of Lumetri Color on every single clip. In order to separate these out, I'm gonna go to my top red channel, go to curves, and I want to keep the red channel on this. So I want to take away the green and blue. On this green one, I'm gonna take handle all the way to the right and drag it all the way down. And then I'm gonna go to the blue and take that handle and drag it all the way down. Now we have this really sweet looking red clip. I'll unenable this one and go to my next one and repeat the process, but instead of keeping red, I wanna get rid of that and keep green. So I'll take away the red and the blue, and then I will go to the clip that I just want the blue to be and take away 
red, and green. Now we are left with a blue, green, and red channel. And in order to blend these all together, we're going to go to the blend mode and do linear dodge add. And on the very last clip, you don't have to do linear dodge add, but if you accidentally did this out of order, so here's my blue clip on top, I'm just going to show you that you can change this to linear dodge add, and now we're restored back to our original color. Now that we've separated these channels into red, green, and blue, we have full manipulation as to what we can do with those separate colors. And this is where it gets really fun. So to show you what's happening, I'll highlight the red clip and just move the position. And then I move the blue one over here. And now all of a sudden, you've duplicated yourself in this clip. If you're doing something like a music video and you want a trippy effect, that's a really cool thing you could do. If you're looking to just get a little bit of that red fringe on your edges, you could just manipulate the clip a little bit, or you could just up the scale by maybe 0.5, and that creates that little bit of fringing. Let me take the remainder of this tutorial to show you some creative ideas that you might use when you separate your channels in this way. Starting with the lens distortion effect found underneath distort here in the effects panel. And if you put this onto each separate clip, you can play around with the curvature. So in this example, I'm doing minus two on red and then minus three on green and minus four on blue. And what this creates is this nice, again, color fringing towards the corners of my image, but in the middle, everything is still primarily in focus. It's definitely a neat little effect and you can obviously go more extreme like this example. This next example is using Gaussian Blur. The key here is I've done it horizontal for one color and then on the blue color, I've done it vertical. So this is going up and down and the top is going side to side. Again, creating this nice little dreamy effect. Another cool effect that you could add to just one color is the horizontal flip. Now we got this really neat kind of double exposure color effect going on as well. If I move on to some other versions, right here I've applied the wave warp effect and change the wave type to square on my red color. It gives that banding to the colors. Instead of having a blur, we have this nice little digital banding going on. Another idea would be to take the clips and delay them by one or more frames. So now we get something like this, where it's a trippy effect on me. Another version of this would be to play with the speed at which things are playing back. So as I'm walking across, you can see different color versions of my shadow following me. That's a neat little effect. I would encourage you to take whatever clip you're looking to work on, split it into red, green, and blue, like I showed you, and then just start throwing random effects on it and seeing what you get. Sometimes the result is something that you weren't even looking for and it just happens by luck. And you're like, whoa, this is a cool, neat little effect. If anything, it's fun to experiment with something like this. So if this video was helpful, I hope it was. Leave that thumbs up. My name's Javier Mercedes. And until next time, I hope you're out there living a life of abundance.